You've been dating for a while, you think she's great and so does everyone else, but you're still not sure if she's the best one for you. So how the heck do you know if the person you're dating is your person? The truth is that myself, your best friend, nor your parents can tell you whether or not she is right for you. That is a question that only you can answer. What I can do is provide you with 10 helpful questions to ask yourself that can help you decide whether this girl is your girl. Asking yourself the right questions can quickly help you figure out if this girl is wife slash long-term material. Here are the 10 questions to ask yourself that will help you decide if this girl is right for you. I don't have these in any specific order as I think they're all pretty essential. So number one, does she support you when you need it? We all need love and support from time to time. A bad day at work, being sick, a fight with friends, stresses of life. These are all times when she should be there for you with love and support and potentially give you a kick in the butt if needed. Does she do this? Or if you haven't come up against these challenges, do you think she would? Number two, do her positives outweigh the negatives? Anyone who tells you that you're meant to like everything about your partner needs to seriously be medicated or actually they may already be heavily medicated which is why they think their partner is supposed to be perfect and is perfect. You have to remember that we are all human and humans are flawed, even us godly women. If from your point of view your girl's positives outweigh her negatives, then she's a keeper. Easy. Number three, does she share your values or at least respect them. Values represent who you are and how you view the world. If she doesn't share your core values or at least respect them, then this is not the girl for you. If you're not sure what your core values are and want to find them, then I have something for you. Go to winggirlmethod.com slash find values. It's a great exercise. I have a questionnaire you can fill out so that you can figure out your core values. Number four, do you treat others the same way? It's really important to look at how she treats others. Right now, you may be in lovey-dovey zone, her best behavior is on display. So watch how she treats others in her life, even strangers, to see if you guys see eye to eye on the treatment of others. Listen, you may both be serious a-holes, but at least you're a-holes together, right? So make sure you're on the same page. Number five, does she fit into your life? Yourself and the girl you choose don't have to have completely meshing lives. In fact, it's better if you don't. But deciding if she is right for you, you need to take a serious look at how she fits into your current life. Does she like your friends and family? Do they like her? Is she down on your lifestyle or does she celebrate it? Think about it. Number six, do you guys have things in common other than sex? I've worked with so many men who continuously tried to salvage a relationship simply because of great sex. They worked so well in this one department and it was keeping them and their mate holding on even when it was obvious how incompatible they were. Sex is a huge part of a relationship, but it's not the only thing. If sex is the only thing and you require more in your life, then this girl's not for you. At least not for a long-term partnership where you'll be dealing with life together, real things. Number seven, can you communicate? We're all going to have differences, different opinions, different backgrounds, different experiences, different ways of doing things. But the way that you communicate about these differences is key to a long lasting relationship. Seriously ask yourself, can I talk to her about things that are important to me? And does she listen? Not quickly agree with me, but listen and communicate back with me. Communication is the foundation of every relationship. Number eight, does she accept you for you? Everybody will wish their partners could be a little bit different. Trust me, I've tried to change many things about my man, but I not only accept who he is as a person, I respect it. If your girl is constantly trying to change you or down on who you are, not in a motivational, supportive way, then this girl is probably not for you. Number nine, do you feel comfortable around her? Now this can be a tricky question to answer because you may be shy or uncomfortable and still warming up to showing your true self, but at the core, do you feel like you need to put on an act around her and be someone you're not? Again, this may be your doing, but it's something to pay attention to. Number 10, do you like being around her? This one should be really easy to answer. It's a really important one. When you're with her, are you mostly happy? Do you enjoy being around her and do you want to be around her when you're not? If yes, then this is a good reason to continue being around and continue exploring if she's the one. 
And that's my list of 10 questions to ask yourself if you were debating whether or not she is the girl for you. I do have one final note that is super important. So after you've asked these questions, I have one more question for you to ask yourself. So this is a bonus question or question number 11. Is there a potential for this girl to change my responses to any of the above if I talk to her about it? As I've said numerous times throughout this video, we're all human and we have grown up doing things and thinking a certain way. Doesn't mean we can't change and grow. Many people don't express their concerns to their partners and they expect them to just magically change. And it, it doesn't work like that. So if you think this girl could be the one, then give her a chance to know your concerns. Talk to her kindly if, and see if things can shift. If they can, then you have a solid partner who is willing to work with you for the rest of your life. For more tips on how to understand women and figure out how to keep her happy and attracted to you, go to winggirlmethod.com or watch my other videos right here on YouTube.